this I call to mind, and therefore I have hope. The steadfast love of the Lord never ceases. His mercies never come to an end. They are new every morning. We meet in the presence of God. We commit ourselves to work in penitence and faith for reconciliation between the nations, that all people may together live in freedom, justice and peace. They shall grow not old, as we that are left grow old. Age shall not weary them, nor the years condemn. At the going down of the sun, and in the morning, we will remember them. We will remember them. Ever living God, we remember those whom you have gathered from the storm of war into the peace of your presence. May that same peace calm our fears, bring justice to all people and establish harmony among the nations, through Jesus Christ our Lord. Amen. A reading from the Gospel according to Matthew, chapter 5, verses 1 to 12. When Jesus saw the crowds, he went up the mountain, and after he sat down, his disciples came to him. Then he began to speak, and taught them, saying, Blessed are the poor in spirit, for theirs is the kingdom of heaven. Blessed are those who mourn, for they will be comforted. Blessed are the meek, for they will inherit the earth. Blessed are those who hunger and thirst for righteousness, for they will be filled. Blessed are the merciful, for they will receive mercy. Blessed are the pure in heart, for they will see God. Blessed are the peacemakers, for they will be called children of God. Blessed are those who are persecuted for righteousness' sake, for theirs is the kingdom of heaven. Blessed are you when people revile you and persecute you and utter all kinds of evil against you falsely on my account. Rejoice and be glad, for your reward is great in heaven, for in the same way they persecuted the prophets who were before you. This is the word of the Lord.
today when we celebrate Remembrance Day. We should make an effort to remember what we can see when we visit countries and cities and our villages. We can see statues or monuments erected in memory of the great people who decided the fate of others who are considered to have changed the course of history. Even when we visit our cemeteries or graveyards, we can see all kinds of monument dedicated to great people. And after that even, they want to stand out and the world comes to worship them. We read about them in the history books and there they are also adored. There is so little room for others, the many who have carried out the commandments of the great and important people, their orders, their ideas, their good and bad dreams. When do we remember the many, the ones who no longer have names in stories, on statutes, in history? Today is such a day the day we remember, we have to remember them. Who paid the greatest tribute in the Great War? The great ones decided. The big ones foiled them and sent them against each other. This is happen when the great ones of the world forget who they serve. Shortly before I addressed you, we heard the Sermon of Jesus called the Beatitude, or the Blessings. Jesus reveals to us who the blessed one really are, when he sees the motley crowd that followed him seeking help. The context shows us that Jesus seems to be sad at the sight of the crowd. He knows that these people carry the weight of history, and at the same time are the most forgotten, disregarded, and yet Jesus declares them blessed. Jesus knows that, with a simple and confident spirit, they follow those who did not always lead them to good, and even led them to war against each other. He knows that they were generous and merciful, even when the great ones took everything from them. He knows that they, with a pure heart, obeyed the commandments and killed believing that are defending the peace so longed for. Those who died in the great war, which we remember today, and all those who died in all wars and continue to die, did so because they were led to do so, by the arrogance of some or those who led them. Through their sacrifice, history were, were, were made and is made. Through their sacrifice, we have days of peace today. Their memory must remain eternal in the hearts of generations in order to understand the danger, that selfishness, the desires of glory, the irresponsibility of those who, being responsible for their people, can bring and can create. Jesus knows this and sees it in the ages of human history. We are never safe if we forget this. If we forget how bad it can cause the arrogance of magnification and control of those who come to lead the peoples. They must not be forgotten. This must not be forgotten by those chosen to lead us. Remembering those who shed their blood, we must not let those who lead us fall into the temptation of arrogance. They must not forget that even the greatest people in the world have fallen prey to the evil they have created. Let us honor those who have sacrificed themselves and are sacrificing themselves and ask today God to give us leaders aware of their role and to strengthen them against the demon of pride.
Let us pray. On this Remembrance Sunday, let us bring before the God of peace our prayers for the world, the Church and all his people. We remember today, O Lord, all those who have died in any kind of war throughout your world, soldiers who perished in the horror of battle, innocent people buried beneath the rubble from bomb attacks, men, women and children brutally attacked and murdered in their villages. Today we remember especially those victims of the two world wars, including those close to us or to our parents and grandparents. We remember those who came home with terrible injuries, both physical and psychological, and those whose loved ones never returned. Lord, in your mercy, hear our prayer. Remembering the conflicts of the past and the sacrifices which were made, we pray for a world where war is still a grim reality. Lord, as we remember those who have lost their lives, help us to renew, renew our fight against cruelty and injustice, against prejudice, tyranny and oppression. Lord, in your mercy, hear our prayer. Lord God, we pray for the leaders of the nations at this time, asking you to pour out your spirit of reconciliation on them. Give them a longing to bring freedom from fear and freedom from want for all peoples. Give strength and courage to those who bear heavy responsibilities for the peace of the world. We pray also for the Christian Church, called to witness to your love in this generation. Lord, in your mercy, hear our prayer. Merciful God, we pray for all who face difficulties in their personal lives, problems in their families, in their friendships, in their neighbourhoods or in their workplaces. Help them to be calm in times of uncertainty and patient with those around them. Show us when we can help and give support to others around us. On this day of remembrance, our hearts and prayers go out to all who mourn the loss of those we have loved. Help all those who are bereaved to find the same consolation that in knowledge of your love they may honour the past by looking to the future. Lord, in your mercy, hear our prayer. Finally, Lord, a prayer for ourselves, that we may all put our confidence in you. O oh Lord, you know we are often filled with fear and foreboding. Give us courage and deepen our trust. You are a rock which nothing can shatter. On you we can place the whole weight of our lives. Merciful Father, accept these prayers for the sake of your Son, our Saviour, Jesus Christ. Amen.
when you go home, tell them of us and say, for your tomorrow we gave our today. God, grant to the living grace, to the departed rest, to the church and all people, unity, peace and concord, and to us and all God's servants, life everlasting. And the blessing of God Almighty, the Father, Son, and the Holy Spirit be with you all and remain with you always. Amen.